everyone. This is just the intro to the Goodwill sourcing trip that I did with Michael Nakoma Fines and Brayden here in San Antonio. So it was really fun meeting up with local resellers who also make content or do some form of social media regarding reselling. So I'm going to go ahead and play the footage. It's just a little bit of kind of scattered footage of us thrifting in Goodwill. This is a newer Goodwill that had just been open for a couple weeks, so they didn't have any discounts or promotional color tags or anything. So I'll show that footage and then we'll come back and I'll show you the haul of items that I ended up getting. So silly me turned the camera off on accident when we officially did like our meet and greet and walking into Goodwill. So I kind of caught it pretty quickly, but we started at shoes, so there's not really much missed other than the first entrance and outlet of the store, which I like to see. But this is us sourcing at shoes. That's one of the things that I usually like to go towards first, especially if they're at the front of the store, and these were. But with the shoes not being any type of discount, they were all kind of fairly expensive, so not really anything that I was willing to pick up, with the exception of a couple. And then I went ahead and came over here to books to look at the books first while Michael and Brayden went to the plush. So he finds really good plush at this Goodwill. A lot of Build-A-Bear, a lot of $25, $30, $40 plush to be found. So I went ahead and let him do his thing with that. And I just wanted to see if I could find any Goosebump books or Harry Potter hardback uh, series books that I look for. Then the bags were right next to it, so of course, skim through the bags pretty quickly. I don't really like to pick up a lot of bags because they're not fun for me to list and they're pretty bulky, they're hard to store, there's a lot of measurements, things like that. But I will look for to me or anything extra fancy every now and then. Now this is just a miscellaneous aisle on one side, but the plush and toys on the other. I skimmed through the toys a little bit. Uh, I did pick up two plush that I just thought were really cute. And then here I decided to look at the soaps, body wash, things like that. But they were a little bit too overpriced for what I could resell. And then I was scanning these Equate supplements and I was trying to get that on camera for you guys but definitely a noob when it comes to the GoPro and filming inside of Goodwill. But I did end up picking both of these containers up. There was three, it was a three pack per container and you can't see it right here these are all one and two bottles but they were selling for an average between 15 and 20 dollars now keep in mind looking at the expiration date i did not think of that at first so brayden and michael did remind me to make sure that they weren't expired here i was strictly looking for chocolate candy molds because of Kevin picking in the hood too. Just got to keep an eye out for those as well as those cake molds if there's really cool vintage characters. I always look at mugs. I do not need to pick up any mugs but I cannot help myself. I always look at them. For anything that catches my eye I do like mugs every now and then. This was cute but it was overpriced and it was chipped at the front. Um, I used to collect teapots so again I'll look at those but I don't really pick them up. Now here is where you see those boxes. Those boxes caught my eye and so did that bike. I was just really curious. I thought they were comics. I was kind of hoping that they were comics for a second. And then I noticed that they're records. So I don't know anything about vinyl. don't know anything about records, 45s, the difference between all of the sizes. But $15 for 200 it just seemed like a good deal. I mean, I, I, I don't know. You let me know if you would have picked these up or not. So we were discussing it, we were thinking about it, we were looking at them, and I decided I'm going to take one, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the cart, because I just felt pretty confident, if nothing else, I could at least flip that box for $30 and double my money, worst case scenario that was, but I thought best case scenario, they sell for a dollar a piece, and that's $200 out of $15. So I lingered here for a while. I went back and forth and I said, you know what, I'm going to get a second box. Michael did pick up one box already. I told him I'm going to get a second box and I thought it would be pretty cool. Maybe we could do like a mystery unboxing and see who got the better records. 
Um, it turned out to just be there's so many to go through so I'm still in the works on that but hats here I love looking at hats I love picking up hats didn't really find anything too exciting or special again with there not being any discounts some items were pretty overpriced but right here Michael found this really cool tapestry just this hanging quilted tapestry I thought was cool and uh, we were having a little bit of fun with this bear and we kept finding these hats <laughs> throughout the store <laughs> and this is a Batman pillowcase which I was checking to see if it was vintage because if it was I would have picked it up it was not vintage it was still really cool though and you know maybe for a dollar at a yard sale I probably would have still picked it up but I think it was $3.99 here so four dollars not really worth it and I always look through clothing pretty quickly if I have some extra time right here there just happen to be some quick little bags and you'll see that bag again later leggings I do a quick scan for quality so sometimes I'll just see if I can find quality and here Michael found this guitar hero case and asked me if I wanted it and uh, I just think it's really cool because I like to bundle guitar hero games and sets like that so I'll just hang on to it moving on to I wanted to look at some vintage t-shirts or four vintage t-shirts or four cool t-shirts graphic tees found that really cool Ninja Turtle graphic tee and I'm looking to take a photo you'll see the selfie of us here in the clip in the next clips but we just couldn't resist being a little silly with these fun hats <laughs> so just getting back to the shirts this tank top I really really liked I actually wish it was smaller because I would keep it and wear it for myself all right so there you have it so we were at Goodwill we thrifted we sourced there for about I would say an hour and a half um, maybe two hours or so we were able to talk and really get to know each other so it was a fun time let's go ahead and get into this haul of what I ended up picking up so this guitar hero bag this is really cool he actually found this one and asked if I wanted it it's just a little game bag but this was a dollar 99 so pick that up specifically with the thought of bundling that because I do have a few guitar hero games I'm kind of just waiting to see when I come across a guitar guitar hero guitar and this way I can just do like a nice little bundle so I'm setting that stuff off to the side this was really cool it just reminded me of the Texas missions that all are all around Texas and it's a little leather crossbody bag so very pretty I like this aesthetic style for my Poshmark closet and I think it's kind of like that Aztec bohemian western look so it's got a lot of keywords I could use next is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles this is Leonardo it's Nickelodeon it's not vintage but it's perfect for this is how much it costs it's perfect for Halloween so this is just that nice little Halloween piece and I do like to have Halloween items costumes and things like that because they're fun for me and also because I do think that they sell pretty well a couple more clothing pieces this one is DC's The Flash. This is a zip-up hoodie. I would label it like jacket, sweater, hoodie, sweatshirt, but it's really cool. It's textured right here, if you can tell that. It's in pretty good condition. It's, I mean, it's gently worn, but there's no damages, no flaws. And this one was $4.79, and it's, an, it's a 2XL, so an extra, extra large. I may keep this to bundle in. I have quite a few extra, extra large or 2XL graphic t-shirts. And those do very well in auctions, so I might bundle that with the graphic t-shirts. Next clothing piece is a new to me brand. I picked this up strictly because it looked vintage, reminded me of MC Hammer, and just all sorts of fun. It is called Sun Buster, made in the USA. If you've sold this brand before or have any luck with this brand, please let me know. The back pocket, or the, the back, yeah, I guess back pocket, had this cool design on there. They are a full side zip pant, so you can see I've completely unzipped both sides, and it zips all the way down, so I guess it's maybe like a dance pants, or a dance pant, or something like when you work out. But it's a new to me brand, and I did a quick comp search, and it seemed that I could probably get about $25 for it. And I wanted to try it, so it was worth buying at the time. Now, this is the most exciting clothing piece for me because of the colors. So, Hobie, which I, I the only time I've ever heard of Hobie is the kayak. Look at this tag. 
That tag is so cool. Made in USA. Look at the colors so you can see how much I paid for this item. Isn't that freaking cool? This is so cool. This is such a nice graphic t-shirt like a really nice vintage color graphic t-shirt with a soccer ball on there so i have to look what hobie is if it's a brand if it's a team all right the next item that i picked up which is one that i could tell michael was like are you sure are you sure you want to get that so it is a bradford exchange it does resell usually pretty well for a good amount of money it is a pug purse so it's got the little charm right there. It's got the pug design all around it. It's got the little paw print details. It is dirty. I mean, you can see a little bit of markings there. You can see a little bit of markings in the front. So it's not in like perfect condition or anything. The inside though, I mean, the inside is clean. So I'm excited to see exactly what I could get for this one. Here I got a couple pairs of shoes. I mean, <laughs> if you know me, you know that I was drawn to these right away just purely based on the color so this color just grabbed my attention they are tech gear which is nothing exciting i believe this is sold at like sam's or something but they were only 2.99 they were actually in the kids section but they're technically women's shoes and these have a coles on a number so i picked them up because they're in good condition i love the color they're only 2.99 and i, I just love the color so for three dollars i wanted to try those tech gear uh, snow winter boots out and see how they did. The next pair of boots I found is again the first time finding this brand Kombu. Let me show you this one. This, this one's not as dirty. <laughs> this is Kombu. So right away I could see the quality in these boots from a distance. They just look really really good shape. They look basically brand new and then on the side there is the little um, logo tag there. They're lined here at the top perfect winter weather rain boot so these i paid 6.99 for seven dollars i have to really look up comps for this exact style though to see especially because of the condition that they're in they're in really good condition okay next two items that i picked up were these equate omega oil supplements so i picked up two packages of these um, the stuff like this really draws my attention or draws my eye because it's so easy you just scan it and go so right away I seen these they were priced at $3.99 I scanned one of them on the bottom there's a few that are sold for like where it's just one or two bundles but the packages or bundles of three are selling for anywhere between 15 to 20 dollars so four dollars for something like this which is going to be an easy list i don't have to do anything but take like three photos so i grabbed them right away when i saw that and then michael reminded me are they expired it's like oh my gosh that's a great point i completely forgot about that so you do want to check the expiration date on like these supplements and certain items okay so the last thing that i picked up if you follow me on instagram or if you've seen the live that michael and i did at previous vinyls so 2000 200 vinyl records that's how the box was labeled let me show you <laughs> there, there it is you can see that there is the price sorry i know it's shaky it's just very heavy 15 dollars. there was a total six boxes of these and right away i came up on them and i seen just these these boxes which they i thought they were comics for a second because they look just like comic book boxes and I got a little excited, then I saw vinyls, and I said, wait a minute, they're records. So there was one there that was already opened. Going through just a few of them, there was a few names I noticed, and I said, you know what, there is about 200 in here for $15. I said, if I could sell them for a dollar a piece, or even 50 cents a piece, that, I mean, that, that would be worth it. I do want to give a really good shout out to Who's Tom Cruise. He has so much knowledge and has helped me like so quickly with a lot of like really good starter information that I just like wouldn't have ever even thought of. So I'm going to put Tom Cruise's link in this. So if you want to go check that out, super pumped. I've gone through about 40 records, so I have 400 total. I've gone through about 40 of them and I found one that could be worth about $30 and I've found about five that are worth between five to eight dollars, which is really cool because if I sell the one for 30 and one other for eight dollars 
after fees and whatnot, I'm pretty much breaking even already, which means two records sold, I have 398 to go. So I think the profit margin on these could be extremely great. So I'm in no hurry to get these listed. I do want to try to just maximize my money as much as possible. They don't really take up a lot of room, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and take my time and really see how much money I can make on this deal. So go ahead and comment down below if you have any insight for me on any of these items. I definitely would love to know if there's anything here that you think I picked up and shouldn't have, you wouldn't have picked up, or maybe that it's a really good buy. Let me know. I'm curious. As always, thumbs up, subscribe, the good stuff. You know the drill, and I will see you all next time. Bye!